Well, this is the last day I ever sit down in this van and drive to work. Wicked. The good news is that we've been out fishing a lot more recently and that means this video is going to be packed with fishing action and some great moments. There's been some pretty big changes in our lives recently and this video is going to explain all, including a little update on a lake which we're now looking after. <laughs> so sit back and make yourself comfortable because this is going to be a solid video. We've got quite a lot to share with you. Firstly, let's talk about our jobs. Nash Tackle is a carp fishing brand based in the UK, a company which first noticed us on YouTube when we were just kids, filming videos with a camera with the visual quality of a calculator. Over the coming years, we grew closer to the team at Nash Tackle until eventually they decided to give us a job and employ us contributing video content to their Facebook, YouTube, and of course, back then, the DVDs that they used to make. In more recent years, we've continued to enjoy working with Nash Tackle, but there has always been the, the elephant in the room, which is this very channel. We've seen this channel go from 100 subscribers to where it is now nearing 100,000. But we've never really believed in ourselves enough to take the risk. The risk of working full time on our own channel and leaving the security of our employment. Life did get kind of stressful over the winter, what with illness and also the pressure to keep doing our job, but also keep these videos going on on our channel too. We had a lot to think about and we began to look at the likes of John B or Victor from Itch Again Angling, those guys who make full-time livings from their YouTube channels. Of course, our films aren't on the level of theirs, but the inspiration was there, the seed was sown. We, th we started to think whether or not this was actually a possibility. Maybe we could just quit our jobs and become professional anglers. A couple of months ago, I was just recovering properly from my illness. And with that, the brain space and enthusiasm to get outside had returned. Omi and I popped out for a bike ride at a nearby mountain biking track. Of course, the, the fact that there was a, a lake just down the road from there increased the incentive to get out of the house. <laughs> this makes you feel alive, blows away some cobwebs. <sighs> I can't do it, it's too hard, not advanced enough. Well that is a lot of fun, uh, I think it's time that we go and try and find some carp. Walking around the lake a couple of times, I hadn't seen anything but, you know, some small rud until out the corner of my eye, a big dark carp slid into view. I've spotted him. I've spotted him. Yes, yes, that's a good one. I'm going to get in the water, I think, to grab him. Grey body, it's beautiful. Yeah. What an absolute monster. On the bread again. With that big unexpected mirror photographed and released, it only took a couple of days for the itch to come back. I was buzzing to get out fishing again. Alex was out fishing with a friend of his, Harry, and conveniently, my buddy Tom gave me a ring that day and said, hey, let's get out for a few hours. Let's try and explore some new waters. Mm 
This is scary. Oh no. Oh no. I think I may accidentally have spooked the fish. <laughs> We successfully located a handful of new places to try out, and although we found carp in pretty much all of these places, we just couldn't tempt one to bite. A last ditch attempt was made on the way home, stumbling across a pool deep in some forest. Here, the carp were much more obliging. That was a poor cast. Am I gonna catch it? Has he got it? Yes. Oh goodness. Oh goodness, it's stripping. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, it's really nice. Wow. Bosh. What's the result? That's definitely the biggest one I saw as well. Well, that one got away without a picture. Oh, oh, oh Lord. I think, has he seen it? Yes, go. Oh my goodness. He is on. This place is a joke. Wait, well, how does this exist? I don't know, but we found it. <laughs> this is why you go on little adventures. Is it... Bloody hell, Harry. Oh yeah, he's lovely. I actually wrote an article in a UK fishing magazine around this time last year all about, you know, fishing with friends. One very key person in my life is my best friend Ryan. He was actually the first friend I made whilst I was at secondary school. Back then, Ryan helped me out of a sticky situation uh, whilst I was being bullied by some of the cooler kids in the school. Ryan never had to be cool, he never tried to be popular, he just wanted to be there for me. And despite not speaking very much the last sort of four or five years, when he heard that I had a little bit of a struggle over the winter, he gave me a ring and said, hey, let's get out fishing again. Well, the sky is white and... Wow, well, that's a ridiculous way to start a <laughs> sentence. The sky is white and the grass is green. I'm out again with my buddy Ryan, who you can see just here and we are going to do some small stream fishing with maggots. Right near the end of the river season, Ryan and I headed out for just an hour or two down the local stream. The fish were pretty small and quite insignificant, but they certainly put some smiles on our faces. You got one. Hey, Roach. Yes, oh, fudge. It's gonna be a good one. What is it? Oh mate, this is big. That's big. <laughs> it's nothing, isn't it? it is. It's a bream. No. It can't be a bream. It's fine to us. No, it's a bream. It's a bream. <laughs> it, oh, oh no. Oh god. <laughs> Hit me on the head. <laughs> was not expecting that. <laughs> Micro stream fishing for big perch. <laughs> I'm quite content catching fish like this today with my good buddy Ryan. I mean, he's taken me out fishing a couple of times and we've had a lovely, lovely couple of trips, haven't we, Ryan? Yeah. Wicked. Ryan's catching roach every cast. Just caught this chub. What do we have here? I wish my rod wasn't so long. Yeah, it would be nice to have a, a really short rod in this. <gasps> it's big! We went out. Wow. Went a lovely day out and then decided We've got a couple of hours. I've got some old maggots in the car that definitely need using up. <laughs> yeah, they're a bit smelly, those maggots. <laughs> but they've tempted this lovely perch. Ryan also kindly got me a guest ticket on his Syndicate Lake, a place which holds carp to over 40 pounds. However, I proceeded to catch quite possibly the smallest carp in the lake. So Ryan's Syndicate Lake that he's invited me to has a 40 pounder in it. And this isn't it. <laughs> I was talking to my dad on the phone when this one ripped off and uh, I, I lobbed my phone in the air and I have no idea where it landed. So we're hopefully gonna find it because I've completely forgotten. But yeah, got myself a cart, which is a good result. Oh, and um, Ryan had a pike too. I was reeling in at the end of the session. And a pike took his boy me. <laughs> nice one, Ryan. Whoa. While spending a little bit more time with Ryan, we got a chance to chat more and also discuss plans and projects for the future of Carl Alex Fishing. Now, Ryan is great at maths and I'm really not, so he helped us draw out some plans and do the maths connected to taking Carl Alex Fishing full time and, you know, the financial implications of 
being self-employed. Long story short, Ryan helped me over 10 years ago now with the bullies at school and now he's helping me draw up business plans and video schedules for Carl and Alex Fishing. Now that is a true friend. Myself and Ryan took over a big project last year, running a syndicate on a old, overgrown estate lake. Over the years, the lake has become very wild and actually unfishable in a lot of places. So Ryan and I have taken it upon ourselves to cut back some of the trees, pull out some of the reeds and improve the habitat for not only the fish and the wildlife, but also improve the access for the anglers. Alex is cracking on with some editing and it's time for me to take the camera few bits and pieces and my rods and stuff that are by the door out for a spot of fishing on a beautiful sunny day. Warm isn't it today? Just a tad boiling. No, I mean I can't swear can I? No. <laughs> it's very boiling. It's very boiling. It's very boiling today yeah. and we're about to head down <laughs> that path. <laughs> this was the gap we dug out to make us swim and um, there's carp in it. Carl literally caught this oh, lovely little common from basically where he's standing. So back he goes and then in the pads somehow I managed to get out one of the, the mirrors. We've named this one Floppy Gill. Because name kind of does <laughs> does its job. He's got a bit of a floppy gill, but very recognisable fish, and he's putting on some weight, which is really nice to see. Look at those scales. He's so nice. I love him. Nice one, Ryan. Well done. Um, try to find the tree. So just start cutting into it, then, yeah. Yeah. Cut it from the top, and it will When you get about halfway through, it starts creaking, and then. <laughs> it got me. Fat. Time to give the fish some food. Thanks, Sean. There's a few reasons why I've come down to the secret lake today with Ryan. First of all, it's to do some work and Ryan is the perfect person to do said work with. What we're doing today is clearing out reeds, cutting back lily pads, uh, trimming back some trees to make the lake more fishable for the small handful of members who fish here. Um, the other reason why I come with Ryan is because he's one of my best mates. And the last reason why I came with Ryan is because Ryan never fails to bring drumsticks crosses on a fishing session. And these things are amazing. Mm. Wow, what a cast. The sun is setting and I've just hooked tough into a fish on Ryan's rod actually. Um, I'm covered in mud, although I don't really need to tell you that to be able to see that. But yeah, I've just hooked one. There we go. Looks like a reward for a day of hard work. It's actually one that I've caught before, but uh, still pretty happy to get him. There's my reward for some reed clearing and swim building today. You might be able to tell by the, the uh Silt and mud on Carl's face. <laughs> yeah, it's been a it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> now this is of course going to be a very long-term project for us, but we hope that in the future the membership will increase, the fish will grow, and we'll have a proper little gem of a water to keep our eyes on and look after. After what felt like months, it was great to be back on the bank with Carl. We decided to bait up a lake near our mum and dad's house, have dinner with them, and then fish the lake that evening. Let's go, Alex. Let's go feed the carp. The 
sun's just come out and it's perfect because this lake is really shallow and in any sunlight the carp get really active and I can already see a couple out there backed out of the water. I've got a little mix of some pellets and sweet corn. I'm going to chuck that out probably a couple of meters out. I'm sure they'll get on that. Rod, net, bread, mat, carp. Do you see one? To our surprise, the carp had barely touched the prey bait, and when we cast the bread at them, they just spooked off it every time. We were quite surprised by that as these fish barely get fished for, but disappointingly this session failed to bring us a carp. I mentioned to Alex that I would try and get down there though one afternoon the following week to try and catch one of those fish. It was just like a repeat of the previous session. The fish were just not interested. Almost every cast would send those fish spooked in the opposite direction. Uh, it was really, really quite tricky fishing considering the fact that I could see them cruising around in front of me. Persevering for another hour or so, eventually one of the carp showed an interest. Get off! I give up. Never yeah, he's zooming off that side. <gasps> no! Driving home, I felt a little deflated. How hard could it be to catch one of these fish? Yes, they are old and wise, but there's about eight of them in that small pool. I decided that the bright sun was definitely ruining my chances and thought that if I was to get lucky, a session just on dark would probably be more productive. Here we are again. I can't see it. In the middle. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's a good one. Yes. Oh, we're in. This is so good. <laughs> is a beauty, an absolutely amazing carp. It's probably quite dark now, you might not be able to see it too well, but that is an absolutely <laughs> mega carp. And it makes up for being mugged off by them when I was here last time. <laughs> wow, goodbye. Still excited about that incredible old mirror carp, I decided to head back to an old haunt of ours, the farm pond. With one rod and some sweet corn, I got very lucky and managed to hook one of the biggest, scaliest carp I'd seen this year. Three lines of sweet corn and I've got an absolute giant on the end. And it is absolutely beating me up. I'm trying to reel this fish in whilst filming myself. It's not too easy just swelled on the surface. Oh, it's scaly as well. I'm gonna try and get him. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, stop, 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 stop. This is it, this is it, come on. Yes. 
Yes, 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 yes. Oh my goodness. That is well and truly in the net. And that is a beast. Our dad came out to take photos for me, stopping off at the lake on his way home from work. Cheers, dad. Time on the bank and out in nature had really helped clear my head and see the bigger picture. Alex and I had discussed plans an awful lot and looked more carefully at what we really want from life. We know full well that many people would die for a chance to work for a company like Nash Tackle. We had been totally consumed by work and had put our own channel on the back burner, but not anymore. We had decided to go full time on Carl and Alex fishing. Fish more, film more, travel more, and love what we do even more. With Nash notified of our plans, they very much understood and wished us the best with the future of Carl and Alex fishing. The next Tuesday was to be our last visit to the Nash office. I couldn't sleep, so the night before, I spent a couple of hours painting a goodbye and thank you card to give to the Nash team. Well, this is the last day I ever sit down in this van and drive to work, or at least work in its current form, because this is the last day I drive to the Nash Tackle office, the home of our employment for the last four or five years. Oh, it's my last day. True. I wanted to say bye. Oh, top man. You sure you're so fine? See ya, man. All, right, all the best to you. I will see you, you around. You can do some more fishing, can't you? You know. With the sales team, bait factory, and warehouse staff visited and goodbye said, it was time to head over to the media and product development office. This team of anglers and hard workers were responsible for some of the best times in our lives and definitely the funniest. <laughs> You're gonna have to leave the room. You're gonna have to leave the room. You're getting filmed now yourself, Clyde, because you're actually the comedy act. So, like, get that camera on out. Look. <laughs> Leave the room. Go and take a nice, brisk, cold walk around the lake and calm down. Safe. We won't miss the stress and the workload, but we're definitely going to feel a little empty without all the laughs and banter that we shared with the team. I ain't even going to miss him, to be honest with you. So check this out. Check this out. Get in there. <laughs> 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 <sighs> 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 just can't but get well fed round here, you know? Yeah, you are then, boys. Thank you. Riders on the street. Flash back, mate. Right, so you join us here today at Nash HQ for the spool, wait, what's it called? Do you know Michael Phelps? He's my cousin. Hmm. Hey! It's Carl Smith, in on goal. Woo! Ow. Definitely got everything we need. I don't even drink. Yeah, cheers. Alfie, oh the mozzies. They're really bad, they're like helicopters. Those shots that they gave us, doing five of them was a bad idea. Oh, Colin. What's up Colin, what's that son? Then. Yeah, no, you've been filmed because you're a laughing stock with the media team, but it's okay, it's a, it's a mistake of No, youth. Carl, Carl is a legend, but anyway, what's up Carl? He's, no, don't defend him, he's wobbling. Yeah. That's naughty. Battery, charging up a battery. Which is charging up a battery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Breakfast! Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Phone fishing. 
Well, I was just having my bacon sandwich. Well, what an absolute cracker. Oh! <laughs> Breeze hole. Let's go get another one. What water camera am I looking at? Nice dark one I had this morning. They're black here, isn't they? Perler, isn't it? <laughs> Mark the burner. We've got a churner. What is it about you and catching fish whilst I blank? I don't know. It's your luck, isn't Get a it? Of the other side. Yes. So modest. Luck. Nothing but luck. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> what are you doing? Taking a breather in the meetings room before saying our farewells, I remembered visiting this very place before even joining the company back when I was 17 years old. I remember walking around this place. I hope today's not the last time I get to stand up by the church lake. Alex? Yeah, it is. You've got the big girl. The very fact that in those six years, the Nash Lakes, offices and employees never lost their magic just shows how much we're going to miss them. It has been a wonderful journey and one that we will always remember. Yeah. <laughs> From 2014 till now, 2019, our employment at Nash Tackle has enabled us to learn, develop our skills and pay the bills. But now we're taking the leap because sometimes you've got to take that risk push the boundaries, and most importantly, follow your dreams. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, so yeah. It's been an absolute pleasure, Carl. <laughs>